Another hotel, another fight. Harry Simon's been hardened by a career on the road and expects to check out of Copenhagen with a new title. I never had a professional fight in Namibia, so I'm okay. They're watching me and they know that um, I'm the man. His ring credentials are hugely respected. After decisioning Ronald Winky Wright for the WBO light middleweight title, he made short work of British challengers Kevin Lushing and Wayne Alexander before setting his sights on middleweight glory. I've got the great hand speed, I've got the good punching power, so I can duck and wave. I'm just here to fight, I feel like fighting. But another ring exile stands in his way. With boxing banned in his native Sweden, Armand Kreinch has had to travel a long, hard road to success. It's better for me to normally fight in the own country you're born. So I hope they will change that rule. But sometimes it's good to, uh, to like come on underdog all this time. And he's regularly upset the odds, not least when demolishing Jason Matthews to claim this WBO middleweight title. Yeah, I'm surprising every time. So, like, they, though people know me, I have something I can bring out and they don't know when it comes. And with negotiations already underway for the winner to meet world number one, Bernard Hopkins, there's more than just this title on the line. You have to do good to beat me. I have to do good to beat him. See, the man with the bigger heart will win. So I don't care about the world, I don't care about me, myself. So I gotta win this fight for myself. Is Harry Simon a big favorite here? Even though he's the challenger? Uh, well, he's, he's certainly a favourite. I think mean, he's, he's a class act and he's coming up from like middleweight, of course, against a very big and strong and very, very fit um, middleweight champion. So, you, yeah, he's favourite, but it's just not easy tonight, you know. How impressed were you with his performance against Britain's Wayne Alexander last year? Uh, very impressed. I mean, Alexander took the fight at late notice, and, um, but it, <laughs> he is one of the biggest pound for pound punches out there. And he's dangerous against anybody. And. Uh, he, he did catch Simon with one or two clean shots uh, during the fight and really tested his chin. And it showed that Simon not... I mean, that's a great shot for a very big puncher. Not only showed that Harry Simon's got a very, very good chin, but he knows how to tuck up cover. And look at this. I mean, he, he systematically uh, beat Wayne Alexander into submission. And, uh, you know, everything he does is class. He's a great defensor. That comes back with counters, very fast hands, good puncher. And uh, Alexander was, as I say, battered really, and uh, boxed very well for a, for a late substitute, but still beaten comprehensively. Is he your idea of a world-class operator? Definitely. Carl? I mean, I've seen how Simon fought uh, Winky Wright, and uh, that was a tremendous fight, uh, what he put on. And uh, he definitely proved he's a world champion, and, uh, and I took, he's the favourite to win, to keep his title. Yeah, and I mean, you know, we saw Winky Wright box uh, for quite a few Mancunians and a brilliant boxer. Yeah. And to outbox Winky Wright as he did and outwork him, you know, it was uh, showed the class of the man. On a custom role then, perhaps tonight as a challenger, Kreinch again won this title against a British fighter, Jason Matthews, in, in his case. How impressed have you been through Kreinch's career as a champion so far? Yeah, we've seen him a couple of times, and he is, as I say, very, very fit. He's strong, he comes forward aggressive. And, uh, and, and that's one thing about Harry Simon. Apparently, he's been known to be a lazy trainer and a bit of trouble in the gym. And if he goes late in the fight, could it be very interesting? Is he fit enough to cope with this crunch? No question. It's a fascinating fight. Simon has to prove himself as a middleweight tonight, and I think he's on his way out. Back to Glenn and Ian.